I'm just kidding, table talking with the babies. Kid, look at all this fruit. You can tell how I'm making sweet dog with my lady. Kid, don't know about you, but I'm the man in the house. It's a fact that I may be, yeah, it's been that true. Yahweh, Yahshua, look at all that he gave me. I wanna know what he gave me, just to waste words on me. What's up, world? My name is Danzy. That's Danzy C with the third, aka Raven. I'm a songwriter slash rapper. And today, I want to start talking about how I constructed the chorus to the song called Kitchen Table Talking. So after I created the story in my mind of what I wanted the song to say, I needed to make the words of the chorus reflect that story. And a quick overview of what the story is about. In this song, the world is trying to get my attention in order to ask me one question. The world is asking me, why am I not using my words to get their attention? As far as my lyrics go, all I had so far was, I'm just kitten table talking with the babies. Uh, table talking with the babies. I'm just kidding, table talking with the babies. Now, my first attempt of making the chorus tell the story resulted in this phrase. I'm just kidding, table talking with the babies. I'm way, way too busy. Tell them I'm just kidding, table talking with the babies. Wait, too busy, where is he? Tell them I'm just kidding, table talking with the babies. Although this was an attempt to tell the story, the truth is, I didn't like it. I wasn't satisfied with it. And I didn't like it for many reasons, but the main reason I didn't like it was it didn't explain who I was talking to. Like, who are the babies? For someone who didn't know, they might think I'm just sitting at my kitchen table talking to a bunch of guys named Baby. So I scratched that version of the chorus, and I started to focus on explaining who the babies are. So the first line I added was, I'm just kitchen table talking with the babies. Yeah, look at all this fruit. Now remember, my goal at this point is to explain who the babies are. Now I know the babies are my children. I mean, the babies are my son and my daughters. But babies are more than that. They're more than just some haphazard result of a man and woman having sex. And even having sex isn't something that was designed to just haphazardly happen. So the conversations that I have with my babies at the kitchen table about where babies come from, they all start the same. They start with me telling my babies that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And everything they see in this world and everything they don't see that was created was created by God. But the most beautiful thing God created is something he made to reflect his own image. And these images of God, he called human beings. And he made them male and female. And he called them man and woman. And he said man was meant to leave his father and mother and be joined with his wife. And once man and woman is joined together in marriage, nothing should separate them. And through the joint of marriage, men and women are designed to connect in a way where like God, they have the ability to create more images of God. And the only way more images of God can be created is when a man connects with a woman. That is the only way. A man connecting with a tree will never create an image of God. A man connecting with a dog, pig, monkey, horse, elephant, or anything other than a woman will not create the image of God. And creating other images of God is what we were called to do. God created human beings and told them, be fruitful and multiply. And being fruitful means creating more goodness. And there is nothing more good than human life. So when I say, I'm just kitchen table talking with the babies, yeah, look at all this fruit. I'm saying, look at all this goodness. Look at all this human life sitting around my kitchen table. But where did all this goodness come from? All this human life, all this fruit. The next line speaks to that. But for now, my name is Danzy C with the third, a.k.a. Raven. And food for thought is my specialty. So stay hungry and stay thirsty. Bon appetit.